This is Rob Snowy, the fly fishing consultant, and thanks for watching this video. This is how to tie my damselfly extended body tailed nymph. This is the second most productive fly we've ever fished. I tie these by the two dozen at a time. It's a little more buggy looking. You have sort of a segmented looking tail. It requires only one material, which is marabou, other than the bead shade eyes. So let's get started. And you can tie this in olive, white. I've tied it in pink and salt water. It catches fish in both warm and cold water. You can dead drift it, you can strip it, you can nymph it. It's giving you my number two go-to fly for shad. So Hickory American, unfortunately, gizzard shad. And schoolie stripers. All right, that's a nine, number 10 hook from flyshack.com. That is your saber hook. These are $6.99 for 100, and they are extremely sharp. Don't let that price fool you. What I'm gonna do is start my red thread. And I'm gonna cut off the tag end. These are my brand new new cast scissors. These are bead chain from Home Depot. These are $15, a 15 foot section for about three something dollars. Nice, shiny, and that gives it a real insect looking eyes, plus it also um, weights the fly. Now the only other material is gonna be marabou. You want nice, wispy ones. If you've watched my striper popsicle fly, same ones you want for that pattern. So we're gonna cut it right here. I'm gonna wet this whole thing in my mouth. Mmm, delicious, chartreuse tasting. And we are going to now put the scissors down. This is the tricky part. You want your thread kind of taut and start wrapping up. Make sure you're nice and tight. You do not want the marabou to come out between wraps. The first thing when this gets hit by the fish is gonna be the tail usually. And you don't want a too long of a tail or you're gonna get short strikes, especially with the shad. Now I wrapped a couple times up top to seal it off. You can put a little dollop of glue if you want. Now I'm gonna do the same thing down. Have equal, if not one or two more wraps just to secure that marabou in place. All right, we are down to the bottom now. We're gonna wrap in front of this piece. Now let's bring this all together. This is just gonna form the body. Go under the eyes, around the eye of the hook, behind the dumbbells, wrap a couple times, cut this. Those form like little wibbly tails. And now, just wrap in front of the eyes, give it a little nose, half hitch. You are done. All right, that is how you tie the Snow White Extended Tail Damselfly. Hope you enjoyed that. It's one of the easier patterns. For more info, robsnowwhite.com, Twitter at Rob Snow White. Don't forget, there's the podcast on iTunes and Facebook, Fly Fishing Consultant. Thank you.